intrigued me was Sir Walter Raleigh. I didn't realise quite. And his brother, Humphrey. Yes, I, yeah, I knew a little bit about their wide history, um, I, I, you know, starting more as a historian of, of the British in Asia. I've kind of, uh, you know, come, uh, parts of this are, are quite new to me as well. So um, I'm very aware of uh, Sir Walter Raleigh uh, uh, and uh, some of his kind of um, contributions to early English trade and empire. But I didn't know so much about their earlier sort of Irish history, the fact they were so involved in... <laughs> the kind of bloody colonization of Ireland, mm. which actually it, it's nice because we think of these as kind of uh, Elizabethan adventurers. Mm. And just using that word adventurers and explorers give them a romantic edge. And actually when you put them into their kind of wider activities, the sort of colonization of Ireland and the colonization, you see that actually it's part of a kind of larger English push mm. for some sort of, I mean, we like to think it's all, it all happens in a kind of absence of mind, but a fit of absence of mind as, as, as Celia once put it, but actually, while not a carefully orchestrated plan, there is a kind of wider push by the English as some kind of concerted effort to, you know, to get out there and to and to make some money and to and to dominate. And um and, and you see these actors not as individuals in these little episodes, but part of the sort of wider English culture, I think, at this period to, to start to become a more sort of global presence. Um mm, it's really interesting. Degrees of results. So so hopefully that's what also the book will do is take these well-known figures that we learn at school and elsewhere and to kind of place them in this in this bigger story of of um you know of, of, of english colonization it's because you think sir walter raleigh i always think of him throwing down his cloak <laughs> but <laughs> that's a very yeah. false image <laughs> yes yeah I, or certainly an image on the in the service of more kind of practical mercenary objectives of trying to get the queen's support for his endeavors in places like north america and ireland and and so so yeah i mean you know, it's like real life isn't it these any romantic Im image we have of a person there's always a gritty reality behind that facade and i think that, yeah that we we maybe glorified some of these figures for too long and i and i, and I think that while it may ruffle a few feathers mm -hmm. um I, I think it's a much needed balancing of the traditional story we have of empire